Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the Metal Build Power Red and Jabra Straight Power Option Set. Basically, an add-on to your Metal Build Astro Red frame. Well, I got it today. Got it from Nippon Nissan as a pre-order. Not sure if it's still available, but yeah, definitely it is quite something. This is the shipper box, the brown shipper box. It's P Bandai. It's huge. Um, it's not much into here other than that. So uh, let's take that out of the way. You can kind of see my background there. It's, here is the empty box since I've kind of taken it out already, but it's a lot easier when it's empty. But uh, here is the box Mel Build Power Red. Yeah, really gorgeous box art right there. Yeah, this is just amazing. And you got that logo there, P Bandai. All the good stuff. <laughs> just, this is just amazing. Alright, on the back side here, all the cool things that we can do with that. Anyways, that's it for the box. Let's take uh, check out the figure. Alright, starting with the base, we have a couple of stuff here. And actually, there's some more parts of the base, but. First off, we have the Red Frames base here, and that's from the standard or the Metal Build Red Frame itself. And uh, we're going to be using that, kind of like the attachment or add-ons that uh, we got. Uh, we put it on top here, which we're actually doing that for the Powered Red. And uh, we're going to just build up on this base. And I think it's a really ingenious way of doing it. And I can give them props for doing that. Right, so we're gonna just align the base here. Attach this, do the same thing here. There we go. Basically, this is the 100 meter tall, uh, what is it, Jabra Street uh, hilt handle <laughs> stand right there. And there we go. We're gonna put the stand here for the red frame. We're gonna attach this one for the part red add on. And that is the base right there. Now, let's start putting the pieces together. Alright, so first off, we have the red frame. We're gonna attach this one right there and attach it here. And he's actually gonna be raised up a little bit. I gotta take this out for now. There we go. And maybe adjust this a little bit here. Lock that in place. Raise him up a little bit. I think that's as far as I can get that thing. All right, we'll we'll go with that for now. There we go. So we have the red frame up there. Put this back here. It's actually in uh, different pieces. You get two sets of that. And then we're gonna actually hold on. We just need these right here, and uh, let's bring in the part red. Here we go. We have the part red here. We're just going to attach it like so, somewhere in there, there we go, <laughs> and this, this thing is massive, you know, for just a shoulder add-on or the upper body, still it's ridiculous. Alright, so we have that, probably need to start uh, racing this, then let's bring in the hilt. Man, this thing is amazing. It's so huge. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this thing here. Oh, almost there. There we go. All right. But yeah, it's it's crazy. Look how tall that is. Amazing display. Oh wait, I have to understand that. I just want to point out, I do have problems attaching this to the shoulder. It just doesn't work out. And it's basically held on to maybe one of them, but it's tabbed into this back side. Here, that goes onto the back of the red frame. That's probably the only secure way of attaching it. I mean, this thing's just kind of like a guide on the sides. Yeah. Also, there's a section here that you can lock this on the stand. Uh, I just kind of showed it, just putting it on. It works either way, 
but uh, the best way to remove this and I was looking at instruction and how are you gonna pluck those red pieces right there get a blue tack that's the easiest way take that uh, first piece out there is that peg there just the blue tack again there we go and we're gonna attach this inside you can kind of see that going in and let's see here that just married me put that in now it's the uh, lock in place and there we go so that's probably a if you want it to be really secure this particular piece here but either way it works all right so i have the red frame here and the first thing we always do when you're detaching to the backpack or whatnot is lean the head forward and there's this tab here make sure that's uh, lifted up slide this down here and you kind of have to tilt this i always have a problem with this particular one because it does slide off quite easily let's take this out for now all right so we have this uh access port there for the backpack and now uh, we're gonna go ahead and attach the hard red here go ahead and uh, let's open that up and we're just gonna pop that in and uh, actually <laughs> probably the best way with this is to remove the arms so we're just gonna go ahead and pop out the arms there we go you can kind of see that the die cast peg connection there there we go now we have a uh, more clearance i think in the instruction it showed that they put it on with the uh with the arms on but just a lot easier when you took those out All right so uh, pop that in press that tab and there we go all right now the next part is we gotta cover this up similarly it's the same uh, connection point or connection tabs that we use for the stand we're just gonna go ahead and attach this it's a nice uh, cover and I'm actually glad they went with this aside um, instead of using the die cast uh, pegs inside because uh, there might be a tendency to scrape that off when you're trying to fit this in all right so here's the fun part I can never get this aligned so uh, I'm supposed to get that thing and push that in well that kind of works out <laughs> but sometimes it does not same thing on the other side kind of bring it in and yeah you have a tendency of the other side of popping out and getting it aligned is really difficult so sometimes I just kind of leave it hanging like that and I think that's pretty much good enough I guess uh, when <laughs> you work on it a little bit more gives it some more time you can get it flush for the most part I mean you, I can still kind of see the tab sticking out and again it's just yeah a little difficult anyways um, yeah regardless that's good enough all right so uh, let's go back here again and we're gonna add this support so this support goes here there's another die cast peg there and along to the backpack and uh, this itself also is a little bit uh, tricky to do all right so uh, we're gonna go ahead and attach this here go covering that top part and we're gonna slide it in and hope for the best <laughs> all right so uh, slide that in here and we're just gonna see if it will align the hinge on the bottom is a bit uh, tricky uh, this hinge on the backpack I always had problem with that but uh, even on this whoops because that should be fine there I'm having a little difficulty sliding this in peg is right there so I need this to be a little bit lower and more yeah I'm not sure how far this uh, peg yeah, I guess we could push it a little bit higher. Yeah, you get to the point that this thing is really down here on the back plate or the back skirt. All right, so again, have bear with me. I do want to demonstrate this because I do ask 
from time to time, how did you put that in? And even myself, even I, I do appreciate when someone showed how to put it on and just showing how they struggled. Knowing that I'm not alone that <laughs> putting it on, it, it is a bit difficult. All right, so anyways, uh, I think that's it uh, for the most part. All right, and then you got that nice uh, back support there. Although I'm not really sure if it's a good support. You know, nonetheless, it's a nifty design. Kind of looks like the chest plate there as well. All right, so getting back here, get him to stand. Got that awesome die cast joints keeping them all secure and likewise it's probably best to use the stand but there you go quite great now uh, we can add the sword and the sheet onto the back side now if you have the add-on uh, I think the flight pack you have two of these so you can definitely put it on each side but Considering that you might just have the red frame, you're going to put uh, this one here, slide that in, and it pegs in place. So, there we go. Kind of like what we've seen on the promo pictures and the box art. All that good stuff. There. <laughs> and uh, if you want to deploy that, swings down, and he can grab it right there. Yep. Although I'm not gonna do that, but uh, you can see that he can grab that. I mean, he has fairly good ra uh, range with this arm here. Let's see here. Yeah, it is awesome. <laughs> All right, so that's that, and uh, let's take a look at uh, his arm, uh, which is a uh, part of the giant sword or the hilt all right so this is the bottom end of the sword or the pommel or whatever term <laughs> there is for it and this looks great it resembles a lion and also the fangs here it is all molded so that is crazy details there and you can feel it really great get the red eyes uh, the horns here are detachable and on certain cases, I, you know, take them out. Kind of the same way with the V fit of the red frame. Kind of, you don't want to have it all on all the time, just in case this thing falls off or it's not secure. So, but uh, yeah, really nice additions to that. The back side here, or the inside part, nicely detailed, really great. We get the handle here, and we also have uh, another extension here, which we can. Uh, it's like a port on the back all right let's see if we can put this on to the left arm and uh, let's hope for the best again <laughs> all right so uh, let me tilt this bend the shoulder open up the hands the fingers and a uh, great detail I mean each of these is segmented I don't think I went over that but you can kind of see the hinges here and there it's just amazing so we're just gonna go slide that in here kind of grasping the handle there I think that's good and there we go you have a really nice uh, looking shield very menacing otherwise uh, let's uh, take that out and uh, let's go ahead and uh, put it on the back all right so on this back side here there's that port similar to what he has on the back of the red frame and uh, close that in we're gonna pull this down here and that's just gonna peg in there there we go and that looks amazing on the back <laughs> really cool all right so the next part is the guard and uh, we have quite a bit of them we got four and each one is quite special. You go ahead and press that out. And it's got like a cemetery. You got that handle here. And uh, definitely we can see it dual building. So just have the fingers wrap around it. And there we go. That is quite amazing. 
Next up is this. Now this one you have little tabs here at the edge. Gonna pop that out and you got a blade. A nifty blade. And uh, just looking at the design here, you got that lion face again. Here, a different design. Just amazing. Yeah, it, they're, it's really great. Likewise, we're gonna use this side here. Open that, this up, push that in, and it's kind of like your knuckle. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a knuckle duster or something to just wham someone with it. Really awesome. Even with just that. It kind of does look like a fan, but you know, still, you kind of get the idea. Really cool thing to have. And you got a pair of that. You can dual build, one of each. Just amazing. Alright, so that's that. And uh, let's go ahead and attach those onto the hilt. Alright, so I have the hilt here. And uh, someone's gonna ask, how long is this thing? I mean, I kind of showed it, me holding it. <laughs> you can see it, it's really huge. I, I can uh, hold it with both of my hands. But uh, for those who are curious, I have my foot long ruler here, and this is just going to be a rough estimate 12 inch right there, and uh, another more or less another 6 inch right there, so about 18 inches long. Really, yeah, it's quite big. And for the handle, it's about let's see here, and uh, a little over an inch and a half, yeah, but yeah, definitely. It is quite huge. This is about an inch uh, thick. A uh, nice uh, hefty handle. Alright, so getting to this side here. You know, <laughs> I've got this really nice green here. Quite amazing. And I think this is the part where he can shoot out the, you know, the cannon or whatnot. But yeah, really nice. And I believe there are latches here. Uh, maybe this side here. You can open that up. One of them is the handle. There's uh, vents there. And there's another one here on the bottom. There we go. And those are the only three things that you can pop out. I think it will be cool if they keep going. And some of this kind of looks like there is a tab. See that uh, a bit different color gray. Uh, like this one. Should it feels like you can open it, but <laughs> no, you can't. But uh, definitely really cool. And there's a post for that um, in the... Yeah, there, there's a post with this particular uh, configuration for him to hold. Uh, we'll see if uh, I'll do that, but for now, I just want to quickly go over that. And on this, we're going to go ahead and put on the lion face right here. And again, I have removed the horns. I just want to have a little bit of precaution well, before I forget. Uh, there are tabs here that goes on to each side. You just kind of have to align it. There we go. Now for this, there is a bit of a gap that you'll see, but not too bad. So that's the bottom side. Now getting to the top part here, uh, you're going to attach this here onto the top. This has two of those. It's ha it's a bit flexible, but there is a little bit of notch at the end, and that's kind of what holds it, just uh, by friction. So uh, gonna have to align it on both ends. Sometimes you kind of have to assist that. Make sure those tabs here are inside. And there we go. Same thing on to this. We're gonna attach this here. There we go. I believe uh, this is on top or where this thing is. And I might have to double check that, but regardless, I think you can put it either way you you want. So we can easily configure that. And uh, lastly, we have this last one here. Again, kind of have to assist the tabs there. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, the blade is kind of getting in the way. <laughs> there we go, more or less. But yeah, it, it is awesome having that guard there and have that uh, empty space in the middle. 
really great. That is quite amazing. All right, now next up are this stand right here. And uh, actually there is a third one. So this is kind of like a, if you wanted the one to be a little higher, but with this configuration here, we're just gonna lay it here. It's a nice handle for this. There we go, quite nice. And uh, likewise, if you want one side to be higher, you can just remove one or add more, just depending on how high you want it. So let's just attach that, just make it really high. And uh, I think probably best, uh, yeah, this way. Or actually, probably best if you can see the lion's face. So, yeah, this way. Either way, it works uh, quite great for that configuration. Right, so here's the Canon configuration. I want to show it uh, along with the stand. So he's holding it with his left here on the underside, here on the handle, and it is just amazing. Yep. Uh, it's, again, <laughs> it's kind of hard to show everything. It's just a giant uh, piece, and it is really awesome. Yeah, definitely well worth it. It is expensive, uh, don't get me wrong, this is a very expensive uh, add-on. But, along with the red frame and everything um, so far, it is amazing. Just this giant hilt. You know, despite not having uh, the blade, and I could probably scrounge up any blade, maybe I'll go get a, a lightsaber. <laughs> we'll see. But, yeah, regardless, it is awesome. And I think uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there is other configuration. I'm just going to show it here. The illustration booklet where you can hold it like that. And I think that's quite amazing as well. But yeah, wow. really amazing. And here where it's just uh, drawing the little <laughs> Jabber straight with his big hands. It's definitely, there's a lot of uh, play factor. There's playability. And I think that's pretty much it for this review. I uh, hope you guys like it. And yeah, uh, I'm not sure where else you can get this from. I haven't checked. Um, Nippon Yasan might have it, but uh, considering it's B Bandai and uh, it, it just got released, I'm not sure of how, in terms of availability and how much it'll cost you. But regardless, if you have the means to get this, I highly recommend it. It's a great display piece especially if you collect metal build it's it's awesome anyways uh, that's about it for this review i am getting the other uh add-on for the red frame which is the tactical arms uh, which you can configure the delta or the giant buster sword so um i can't wait for that one as well and uh, something tells me i probably need another red frame <laughs> if i want to display both at the same time uh, yeah but uh quite great Anyways, uh, that's about it for this review. Hope you guys like it. If you got questions, let me know. So until then, this is Means. Thanks for watching.